hey guys welcome back to the channel and if you are new welcome finally i am posting on my winter sas 2023 haul now i did have to piece this haul together y'all because in my area people shop so there was hardly any 75 percent off items i did place an online order it hasn't shipped yet bath and body works did send me a notification in the email that they were working on shipping my order fingers crossed everything arrives intact <laughs> and i won't have anything sell out to where items get canceled let's get into this haul now i did have to shop two different locations i went to my local store and then i went to my outlet in my area and i did come across some good things let's start with the body care i ended up coming across this confident body mist scent notes are daring dragon fruit passion fruit petals and vibrant vanilla now when I first saw this, I didn't even know this was a Bath & Body Works fragrance mist because I never saw um, anything about this coming out. And it was just the mist there. No body cream, no shower gel. And this is a nice, pretty, sweet, fruity scent. I thought it was going to be similar when I saw that dragon fruit um, scent note. I thought it was going to be similar to, I think it was called Jungle Rain that we just had in the summer. But it's different with the vanilla note. And even though it says passionate petals, it's not really giving floral too much. It's more fruity. You definitely get the dragon fruit note. So hopefully down the line, we'll see the rest of this collection because I think it was supposed to be other fragrances released in this line as well. But that's how it goes with semi-annual sales. Sometimes we'll get a bit in piece of something like the bubble gum. And I think it was the orange creamsicle, orange vanilla fragrance that we got. It didn't come in full body care set. So I went ahead and picked this one up because I did like the fragrance. Then I saw Philly Girl raving about Golden Berry Mistletoe. Now I did have this in the candle and I really enjoyed it. It didn't cross my mind to pick it up in the body care. I didn't get the whole set. I just went ahead and got the mist. This has scent notes of sparkling berry, sugar spruce, and frosted air. And just like the candle, this has a nice fruity berry scent and it has that citrus undertone to it you don't really get too much of the spruce and it's fresh as well so we went ahead and picked up golden berry mistletoe and the fine fragrance mist and because i'm almost out of my snowflakes and cashmere backups in the gold faceted bottle i went ahead and picked up one more backup so that i could use this hopefully next year because i'm almost done one bottle and i think i only have two left i love snowflakes and cashmere so i had to get another mist Next up, I went ahead and picked up the set to Vanilla Bean Noel. Philly girl got me in trouble. Watching her hauls, I done went and bought stuff that I wasn't even checking for. She said Vanilla Bean Noel was given this year, so I went ahead and picked up the moisturizing body wash because I love Bath & Body Works moisturizing body washes. I grabbed the lotion to it because I don't really want any more of the body cream, so we're going to rock out with the lotion. And then I went ahead and picked up the Fine Fragrance Mist. Another mist I decided to pick up was Jolly Gingerbread Village. I wasn't checking for this one either. Philly Girl said that this was good. So Philly Girl, if you watching this, most of this body care stuff I picked up is because of you. Um, this was 75% off. I was near the checkout line. I decided to get the mini because I never smelled it before. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, if I was going to like it or not. Now, my mission today was to do an exchange for an item, which I'll show y'all when I get to it. And I completely walked past the big bottles of this when I was coming in the store, and they are now 75% off. When I was walking out the store, they had to try me. I sprayed it, loved it. I actually like when gourmand fragrances don't necessarily lean to gourmand or smell gourmand. So I actually like that this doesn't exactly smell like a gingerbread cookie, you get like a gingerbread spice note to this, but it kind of has a perfumey element to it. So I already know the gourmand lovers probably wasn't rocking with this, but I did like toasted marshmallow latte because of that reason. So I may go back before this is all going. I don't think this one will sell out too fast. So I might have time to go back and at least get the full size fragrance mist. But I did like it when I sprayed it in store. Moving on to the candles. Now my two locations did not have a lot of 1095 candles. 
I think I made out better with the candles that I shopped on day one in my online order. So hopefully when that order comes, if everything arrives intact, I will definitely hop on here and show you guys what I grabbed. But as promised in my empties video, I told y'all I was going to grab another stress relief. <laughs> so I went ahead and helped myself to another one because I burned through my other one. And this candle is always good to have in your stash. I know it's a classic scent. It's been around forever, but you can never go wrong with stress relief. Another candle I grabbed is Black Cherry Merlot. I know that this packaging was out before, but last time the candles came out in this packaging, I don't think I grabbed anything from it. And I do enjoy Black Cherry Merlot. I currently have the White Barn Core Collection packaging that is on my candle shelf that I will be burning through soon. So I was like, let me just go ahead and grab this one. I like the colored wax, I like the label, and I love the fragrance. Now when it comes to this next candle that I grabbed, I am so glad that I did not call myself waiting until semi-annual sale to get any of the other candles that I wanted in this collection because my store was completely wiped out. They only had about five or six of these left and I'm currently burning the scent now and I love it. And I like that the way this packaging is styled, when you light these candles up, they look so pretty. And it is none other than Palo Santo. I got a feeling when I light this, the way the light is going to illuminate the jar, it's actually going to look like a nice like desert sunset. So I was like, wow, they only got six left. Who knows if they're going to get restocked with this style of packaging because there's another Palo Santo packaging that's currently coming out for spring one. I was like, let me go on here and help myself to another Palo Santo. And then the last candle that I lucked up and grabbed because it was only one sitting on the shelf and there was no way I was leaving it behind. It is none other than Caramel Frappuccino. It's been renamed Caramel Frappe, but I went ahead and grabbed this while I was in store. I love this fragrance. I bought three of them on candle day. As you can see, I got one that I'm currently burning. It'll be done soon. So now I have three backups. If you watch my most recent haul video, you will know that I mentioned that I was looking for this particular item and every time I'm looking for a particular color, I can't find it. I happened to go in store just to, I don't know what I was even doing in the store because I was saying I was done with sads. I'm not going back in store. I went in store for something and on the top shelf, 50% off where the candle holders were, I got my clear glass pedestal holder, y'all. I was so happy. This was the only one in the store. I asked the associate, could she please get it? I'm all of 5'4", so there was no way I could reach up on that top shelf. And she was taller than me. She knows me as a regular because I always go in there. And I was like, I just want to price check it because on the um, display, it said 50% off select items. So I wasn't sure if it was the candle holders, the trees that were on that particular shelf or if it was everything on that shelf. So she got it off the shelf for me and she looked at it and was like, oh, it's 50% off. And I was like, I'll take it. So I finally got my clear glass pedestal holder. The last three items I have aren't necessarily semi-annual sale items. I told myself moving forward. When it's certain things that I see that I want, if it's within my budget and price range to get it, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. I looked up at my outlet because my local store did not have these out and they are the Bumblebee sleeve holders. I like to pair my holders. So I went ahead and got two of these and redeemed them for free with rewards. And then the last item I picked up is the Bumblebee pedestal. I guess this is like the honeycomb holder. When I saw these online, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I got to see if I'm going to get it or not. When I saw this in store, and mind you, they only had about three or four of these out on the shelf. I couldn't help myself. I had to get it. Now, the first one I got, my little bumblebee was missing one of her antennas, and I didn't notice it until I got home. So that is how I end up missing the Jolly Gingerbread full-size items being 75% off because I was on a mission. I went straight in store straight to the section where these holders were and good thing I did because it was one left one for me to do my exchange so I'm not waiting stuff like this I'm not waiting I'm just gonna grab it so I'll have it to enjoy if I come across it later and I feel like I want another one I'll grab it this retails for $24.95 I don't think that is a bad price 
for the weight of the holder and the overall style and look of it. So I was happy to come across these at my outlet because I wasn't sure when I was going to see these. Some stores get stuff later than other stores and I wasn't even checking for this. And when I saw it, I was like, there's no way I'm leaving this behind. So that's it. That's all for my in-store shopping haul for winter SAS 2023. I'm more of a summer SAS girl. I wasn't planning on going too crazy for winter semi-annual sale anyway because I usually love the summer SAS more. It's right around my birthday, so I always like to treat myself and go in store and get items and backups of things. Plus the summer scents, I, I just love the spring and summer scents more. But I was glad and happy to find everything that I found. My goal for 2024 is to not buy any body care. I can't buy any hand soaps. I'm not allowed to buy any pocket bags. Things that I have in abundance from Bath & Body Works minus my three wick candles. Minus the room sprays because I go through them pretty fairly quickly too and probably the hand creams because I get dry hands from sanitizing my hands a lot. So I don't have a whole lot of hand creams as much as my pocket bags that I have. So there's gonna be some changes with my Bath & Body Works budget when it comes to shopping in 2024, but I'm definitely gonna purchase my three wigs. I'm definitely still gonna do my reviews. So I went ahead, I kept it small with the body care just to prepare myself because I've been doing pretty good this year with not purchasing too much body care and backups and all that. So I had to go ahead and help myself while I could before 2024 rolls around. If I don't get back to the Jolly Gingerbread full size mist, it's okay. I'll run through the mini. I'm an over sprayer. So that will probably be getting empty <laughs> within the next month. And that's it y'all. So if my order, my online order comes and arrives in tech, I will hop back on here and do my winter SAS online order haul. But until then you guys, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.